Hello everybody, welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Or... Okay. Give me a moment. Okay, let's see. Where are we? I think we're still in Senpo Temple. Yeah, we're right in front of the boss door. here. Uh, is there anything else we need to get here before we leave? Uh, I don't think so. Time for one of the most annoying boss fights in the entire game. It's not even difficult, it's just annoying. Ring the magic bell thingy? Somehow that puts us in a different temple. Three monkeys. One of the panels is empty. Mm hmm. Doing this boss fight, as intended, is actually super difficult. But anyway, yeah, if you just look behind you, you immediately fill that painting. And so pretty much I'm just gonna ignore that dude, because all he does is to talk about, uh, talk to you is uh, info on the boss itself. The boss itself actually doesn't really care about you. But yeah, these monkeys are super annoying. Yeah, like I said. Back here. Now where did he go? Ugh. This boss fight is gonna take forever, isn't it? Maybe. Alright. We can do that sneak here, and we can also use one of these, because I have a ton of them. Make us stealthy. Let's hope it lasts long enough for me to get most of them. Or at least, you know, someone helps me. Now where are those monkeys? Using a stealth sugar trivializes this fight. Nice. Not great. Spirit monkeys. Why monkeys that cause terror? Ow. You are the worst, man. Oh, there's the green monkey. Excellent hearing, but I have suppressed sound, so it shouldn't be 
too bad, hopefully. Good to, uh, oh man. Eh, he can't do anything. Now, where's the purple one? Great, more here. Okay. No thanks, bro. Where's the last one? See, this is where you're supposed to take the green monkey, because it's deafening. You can also ring the bell nearby, and it'll also do the same thing, but... Not see where that purple monkey is. Let's hope he's where he needs to be already. Okay, some spirit monkeys. Hmm. No, it's just more ghost monkeys. Oh, he's already where he needs to be. Great. Well, actually made things really easy for me. Super easy boss fight. And that'll teleport us somewhere else. Please, forgive them. They only sought to keep me hidden. However, it seems it was not meant to be. Close your eyes. Let us meet at the inner sanctum. Would you look at that? More teleportation. Hmm. That well, was probably the easiest time I've ever had with those monkeys. As yeah, you also get the puppeteer ninja too, which I'm just gonna equip anyways because it's not like I've ever been using it. Also, you get a really easy and large amount of experience from it. Sometimes it can be harder. It depends on whether or not they're willing to cooperate. I mean, our combat arts would really help out. Each Munji double? Mm, I don't think I need that just yet. I think I'll take midair combat arts. And then next, I'll take Breath of Life. Oh yeah. So yeah, a mid-air Ichimoji is actually quite powerful. So, yeah, that's why I chose that. Anyways, let's go talk to this person. Why do you seek this place? I mortal seek blade. the mortal blade. Do you know yeah, of that. a blade that cannot be drawn? Yes. yes. It is so called, for not one who has drawn it has ever survived. Yet you still wish to attempt this. Yes. I do. I see. Very well. You yeah, know, that was super if easy to persuade you are her. Prepared, you may gaze upon the blade. Oh well, I'm dead. Yeah, that's not a big problem. Why is it, I wonder? Are they not loath to die? <gasps> How? How are you? Your eye. 
You see, I have a very charming personality. That's why. Carry the curse of the dragon's heritage. The mortal blade. Without question. Nice. I accept its power. I see you serve the divine heir of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Why do you seek the mortal blade? I wish to obtain the dragon tears from the divine realm to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I have read about this. I have read there is a way to sever the dragon's heritage. Mm. Which means the divine heir begrudges the power of the dragon's heritage. That's right. How strange fate can be. I am one of the children of the rejuvenating waters. Can you elaborate? Created by those who would stop at nothing to achieve immortality. My false dragon's blood was created by man. Thank you. So there are many of you. I am the only one who survived the process. The others are laid to rest here. I see. I do not know if it is right to sever the ties of immortality. But the dragon's heritage undeniably corrupts the lives of men. And I share the heir's feelings about that truth. Shinobi of the Divine Heir, I have decided to assist you. Please, hold out your hand. What? Bless us with bountiful harvest. Yeah, pretty much, uh... Rice will give you... This is... Or... Rice. There you are. Rice is a precious thing. It tastes better the more you eat it, and restores one's vigor. Pretty much it just restores your health over time. Shinobi of the Divine Air, you are welcome here. Do you know what this is? I believe it is known as a Sakura Droplet. I have heard that when the immortal oath of the dragon's heritage is broken, a Sakura droplet is produced in its stead. So this too represents the power of the dragon's heritage. Yes. Mm. Shinobi of the Divine Air, should you so desire, I could use its power to aid you. Please do. All right. Please close your eyes. Yes. May this Sakura droplet bring you strength. I humbly accept. There. You can open your eyes. Understood. It appears the Sakura Droplet's power now resides within you. I am glad I could be of assistance. I give you my thanks. Farewell, Shinobi of the Divine Air. May the harvest be plentiful wherever your path may lead. Okay, nice. So, rice also is the key to, well, giving you one of the endings. I'm pretty sure, anyways. A few of these. Uh, travel to I actually gotta go back to the first idol okay so we just go back to where Kotaro is. We're gonna ignore him for now. <laughs> As you wanna go behind here, sneak up on this guy. Use that. Pretty much he'll just go over here and use that for you. Super helpful. 
There's also two items over here I missed. I'll take them. Let's talk to Black Hat Badger here. <laughs> the puppeteer technique, huh? First time I've seen it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. <laughs> Thought I'd finally see you crack a smile. And with that, I can attend to my personal matters. Thanks, pal. <laughs> now I can use the kite. I appreciate it. Alright, so yeah, pretty much now we can go back up there. And you thought the run backs in Elden Ring were bad. Or not Elden Ring, but Dark Souls 3. Or any Dark Souls game that's not Elden Ring. Or Souls game, whatever you want to call them. Thanks for the cash. You can also give rice to some NPCs. Like that one over there. I believe that the kite is. Yep, it's right there. We. Uh, let's see here. Uh, got a. But I know that there's a way around here. Right, yeah, now I remember. Just gotta... Do this. There we go. Scrap magnetite. Oh, hey, there's Black Hat. Well, just use that first. Well, well. And all chuckles. Did you take care of your business? That I did. All thanks to you. Whose grave is this? This? <laughs> it's a. Uh, it belongs to my kid. I see. After the little runt passed away, all the grunt work I used to do just didn't cut it. Experiments with rejuvenation, kidnapping, responsibilities of a black hat, everything to do with this temple was just rubbing me the wrong way. So that's why you quit. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that about wraps things up here for me. Guess I've got nothing else to do but head back to Ashina Castle. Be a damn sight better than this place. Well, you, know, you probably figured already, but Ashina, you know, she reeks of charred corpses and gunpowder, something fierce. The rats are flooding in like you wouldn't believe. Hmm. You watch yourself out there. Okay, then. Balloon. Sunken Valley Passage. Right. Huh. Normally there's a few remnants around here. And yeah, right now I can't really do anything here. That'll be more important later. If even to a small degree. Well, I say small degree. But it's actually another important thing for one of the endings. Okay, I uh, gotta go back to... Now where do I go? Sunken Valley Passage. Bottomless Hole. Pretty much you can just 
Go right over here. Jump down a pit. Eventually that will show up. Grab it. There will be a bunch of these guys. Yeah, you can't kill them. So just ignore them. Just gonna jump down here to the sunken valley. Ocean of Depths. Let's see if I can't remember how to sneak around here. Hmm. Let's see. It was not right there. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm not fighting a snake eyes right now. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, I framed it. Uh, nope, not getting back up that way. Close one. Nope, not faking the snake eyes like that. Okay. Let's try this again. See if I can't remember. Okay, that's where he is. Where a dude is. If I can get around here... Uh, man, I can't remember how to sneak past here. Hmm. That really doesn't help me out. Well, let's see here. Uh, you know what? Here, let's use one of these. That'll probably make us sneaky. Really? Even still? Right, now I remember how to sneak past here. Because there's another one right here. Found it. Yeah, the snake guys are actually pretty difficult. I need those. Those are not what I want to fight. Okay. Uh, no, not that tree, I don't think. I believe if I jump all the way up here. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Why? Why did it do that? <laughs> just went all the way to the left. Or to the right, I mean. Despite the way I was looking. Which actually sort of really sucks. Okay, let's try this again. Now, if I recall... Should just be able to sneak past here. Oh, that's actually pretty annoying. 
Uh, nope, didn't look like it. Okay. No. Why? Why put so many grapple points here? Okay, just gotta find out how to get around. Ah, now I remember. It's this way. Unless it doesn't have a grapple point, which it doesn't. Okay. Sneaking around here is actually pretty important. that, but, yeah, don't think about sneaking past him to skip this area. He's a mandatory boss. Okay, firecrackers and him. Spear's probably the best for this. As for other stuff, uh, should be good. Not him. Nice try. Yep. You can carry his grab. That crap. Not good. Good thing he missed. Super easy if you get the first one on him. He drops a pair of feet. That was it. Doing this early, we'll skip a boss later. And he's actually really difficult. Well, let's get through here. Hello. Oh. How did you get here, man? She's gone. But she was here just moments ago. Who? You. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shinobi. Listen. I finally saw her. The Shamisen player was a woman. I only saw her from afar, but I could tell. A beautiful, yet fleeting presence. Oh, I should have asked if she was calling to me. But before I knew it, she disappeared into the mist. Now that I think it over, my father told me stories about a hidden town shrouded deeply in mist. An ominous town. Don't ever go there, he said. But that doesn't matter to me now. Now there's a thick Misty forest in my way. If only I could figure out how to get through it and find that shamisen player. Mm. Ah, it's coming from deep in the fog. That melody is calling me. I really never gotten this far in this quest line. Now that I think it over, what an all don't have that yeah, now. Yeah. If all Alright, anyways, then you can move on from here. Yeah, this is just a, an easier run back to compared to the other one.
Well, we are running out of time for this video. Uh, let me try and think of where else to go. Because I've already done all that. Got the Mortal Blade. This isn't where I need to go next, though. I still need to do the gun fort. Which I believe is accessed from... Dang it, I can't remember. There's some dialogue for it, but I can't remember where to, how to get it either. But anyways, if you did enjoy the video, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment down below. Oh, I'll see you later. I messed up the intro again. Whatever. Bye.